Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today I have a February month review. So excuse the face I had, if you saw my shorts video, I had some frozen pre-cancer cells burned off my face. So I'm gonna be a little messy for a while, but it is what it is, right? We're all about the real life here. And I can't put makeup on, so there's that. All right, let's get involved with this. So we're gonna talk about February and what was going on in my life, in my budget, everything. So we'll start at the beginning. I've got my planner down here out and we're gonna go to my trackers and we'll start there. Um, I guess you don't care if I took PTO, which I didn't. <laughs> All right, ah, I need to go to my weight. My weight was down two pounds. Oh, I gotta grab something. Two pounds in the month of February. So I'm not mad about that. I knew things would slow down. January, I was down five pounds. So I may, it might be time to change things up again. We'll see what uh, March looks like, but I am not unhappy about that. So that puts me about 22 pounds since did November. So that's good. Um, I'm getting to my cash saver. I don't know if I've ever showed you this. It's a sheet I created and it's tracking each of these little squares represents five dollars and what this money is let's do a thumbnail what this money is is side hustle and for me side hustle is any cash that comes in if i sell something on facebook marketplace if somebody pays me back in cash whatever cash i have that comes in the house by the end of the month is what i would consider side hustle also, part of my side hustle is I um, I take out of the bank each paycheck $100, and that's my miscellaneous money. So I use that for coffee. I use it if I'm out and about and I run to the grocery store to grab, not a major grocery shop, but let's say I run out of coffee or cream. It's just money that I keep in my wallet. So I have that here. I'm pulling it all out. I keep all my money that's at my house, which isn't a lot, trust me, in this envelope. So we'll go through the cash situation first. How about that? So in change, I have a change container. I put $2.25 in the month of February. That's how much change I had. And then I have, this is my side hustle money. So I have two, four, six, eight, $120 will get added to my, I already colored them in and it gets added to my cash. What am I saving for? Questionable. I know I shouldn't look my fingers, but I do. What I'm saving for, I don't know. If we ever get to go on vacation, it'll probably go towards that. Maybe my IRA, my Roth IRA that I'm getting ready to start. Maybe it'll go there. I don't know. Right now, what I know is I'm just saving right this second. So I have in the, the stash here, two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 100, two, four, six, eight, 10, 200, 20, 40, 60, 260, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 320, 330, 340, 350, 360 in cash, just in my side hustle. Um, I do put things out on Facebook Marketplace. I've been purging my house. I think we're all aware of that by now. And stuff that I think may have a value, I put it on Facebook Market. If it doesn't sell, then I donate it, is kind of how it works. Um, these are the $1 bills. So I don't spend $1 bills for my from my $100 that I put in my wallet every two weeks, um, I don't spend the ones. I mean, if I do, I do, but I try not to spend the ones and I don't count them. They go in here. And we'll know at the end of the year or towards the end of the year, how many $1 bills I was able to save just by not spending them. 
Um, so that stays in here. And when this gets too full, I have another container for that. So there's that. And then this envelope here is my Christmas envelope. And I put my Ibotta. So Ibotta, I-B-O-T-T-A, if I remember, I will put it somewhere. And there's always links for these things in my description box. Ibotta is an app. You sign up for it. You scan through and each store has um, items that you can redeem. So for me, the big one is my pet food. There's usually always a pet food um, option. So if I'm going to Target, I'll scan through, oh, I need cat food. And there's a $3 rebate. So I click the rebate. I go to Target. I buy that specific cat food. And you can scan the barcode and it will tell you if it's the specific item because they're very specific. And then I scan my receipt and they drop five, three dollars into my account. And every time my account hits $25, I pull it out. So right now, I since January have pulled $50 out of my Ibotta. Um, it is work, I'm not gonna lie. It's not as easy as fetch, just scanning receipts, but the payout is much higher. So I did that. And then there's the Fetch app, it's F-E-T-C-H. And with that, you sign up and you just scan your receipts and they give you points. Typically, it's 25 points. But if you buy items that are on their specific list, then you get bonus points. I've gotten a lot of bonus points um, that I didn't even know about, like 5,000 points from CVS just for picking up my prescriptions. It was over $30. So I just scan all my receipts and then I get gift cards. I have uh, Amazon right now and a Kohl's gift card. And these I'm just gonna collect and see if I can get Fetch and Ibotta to pay for my Christmas. So I won't be touching these. Um, yeah, and that with uh, Fetch, you can only get gift cards. And with Ibotta, I can pull out cash and I do like $25 at a time or 30 and I have it sent to my bank account and then I just withdraw that money and put it in here. So I keep it separate. So now I'm ready um, with my little cash envelope. I had bought this last year, two years ago at Target and it's perfect for my, what I'm doing. So that money is just gonna sit in there and it's going to do its thing until the holiday season when I feel like I need to start buying presents. Now, I typically start shopping earlier than most, so I may tap into it, but it will all be for Chris in the Christmas when it will all be for Christmas for that, and I'll keep track. Okay, so in February, what's going on with my budget in February? Not a whole heck of a lot to report. Um, my revenue or my earnings were up. So I have a budget sheet here. And this is just from the Happy Planner budget extension pack that I bought. And I think, um, well, I know that this year they came out with a different pack. So I bought it for next year. So this is the old set that I had. It's just a little different, but you can do anything you want. I found on my budgeting a couple things that to mention. So my sensor for my diabetes, which I thought was going to be $75 a month, my insurance is now paying most of that. So I only have to pay $15 a month for that, which is fantastic. So that right there is a $60 a month savings due to nothing I'm doing other than my insurance, which I really appreciate. Now, I also am having them fill it for 90 days, and that could save me an additional $30 instead of filling it once a month. And that's always something you want to look for in your insurance when you're getting your prescriptions, 90 days versus 30 day supply. My insurance personally is all about the 90 day supplies. And when I do 30, I do get penalized a little bit. So there's that. Now on the flip side, I joined Audible, which is a uh, website. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word. It was a website. And I get an audio book once a month. I use a lot of audio books. Um, I had a three month trial at $6 a month. That's over. So next month that will go to $14, but I have budgeted that in. Um, coffee. Yeah, it is what it is. Costco. I 
can't remember what I spent, but I think it was under budget. I always budget about 150 a month for Costco. And last month I spent like 96. I haven't written it down yet. I took out my cash. Um, Kohl's. I didn't owe anything. Now I have charged something, but I will pay that off this month. So it won't run a balance and I won't get any interest. Now my two credit cards. Um, I didn't add up what they are. So let's do that real quick. This is what they started at. Now here's we got story time. Oops. Plus four, five, two, two. So my credit cards were sitting at about $6,900 um, total. Now let me pull up my sheet here. So with the overage, I would have sent that to my credit cards. And I did pay $800, uh, $700 of the $900 overage went to my two credit cards. I'd sent $500 to one, $200 to the other. I'm trying very hard to pay off that one for $500. Now... Here's the fun fact. I had to pay $215 to have my taxes done this year. I do go to a tax consultant. I've mentioned this a hundred times. Because of my YouTube revenue, I'm considered a small business. And so I need to have my taxes professionally done. That is for me. Everybody else, you make your own decision. That is my, ooh, my choice. I don't know what that was. Uh, my choice is to go to a tax professional. Sorry, I had a, something on my lip. So that was the other 200 from the 900 I was over. And um, I had to pay $125. So I, which this I think will change this year, but I'm not sure. I have to get with my tax person. But I work in one county and I live in another county. And I my work pays my income tax to the county that I literally work in, but I have to also pay income tax to the county that I live in. So I paid quarterly to them, but again, because of my YouTube revenue, I needed I still owed money. So I paid my estimated every quarter to my county, what we estimated that I would owe them, but I was shy by $125. So I had to pay $125 to my taxes. So that was an extra $335 that I factor in in February for taxes. Now, I have to buy an air conditioner and furnace combo. My furnace was from 1986. My air conditioner is from 1989. This is when my unit was built. So I'm assuming they started the building process in 1986 and they finished in 1989. I know that this unit was sold in 1989 as a brand new unit. So that just makes sense number wise when they purchase things. The, the main point of my story is they're old, very old. And I knew I needed to have them replaced this summer. So. What I chose to do, because interest rates are low, I refinanced with a cash out to my condo to pay for this furnace and air conditioner, which is coming in at about $11,000. So at the end of the day, because interest rates are so good, it doesn't affect my mortgage payment. It affects my mortgage a little bit because I'm adding some more money back on it, but at the end of the day, my mortgage payment really only goes up about $4. So that's not a problem. But I had to pay $500 to have the condo appraised. And I'm paying this $11,000 to have this stuff installed next week. So due to timing situations, my closing on my condo is not until the 8th. I won't be funded until the 15th. They're installing the air conditioner and heater on the 11th. So I'm paying on my credit card, but I will pay that off before um, interest hits. But I had to pay $500 to have my condo appraised for my um, refinance. So there's a lot of 
between February and March, you're going to see a lot of money flopping around, but it will settle down in April and hopefully by the middle of March, because it's making me a little anxious. The money's all there. It's just in different pots because I need to pay for things and it's just a, it's just a dance, you know, what goes where. Uh, but the other benefit is I won't have to pay a mortgage payment for two months and I'll get my escrow back that I've paid in so far for this year because on the new loan, it's all figured out over here. So I will get this money back and those couple things will pay off an entire credit card. And I'm super excited about that. So I will be down to one credit card payment. When all the dust settles around all of this, I will be down to one credit card payment and I will be able to probably put a big chunk on that as well. So at the end of the day, I'm really excited that yes, I'm kind of stressing out a little bit right now about all of this, but at the end of the day, we're gonna be okay. So that is just a mess. So I'm trying my darndest to keep track of all my spending, but honestly, it's it's all happening so quickly that um, it's kind of hard to keep track. So there's all the financial mess. Um, also, I was able to increase my 401k contribution by 2% this year. Uh, we had our merit increases and I am going to open a Roth IRA, which I think I already have one through my 401k, but this is something I need to figure out and I'll bring you along during the process. But at my age, I think I can deposit 7,000 a year. And my long-term goal is to take all of my YouTube earnings and put them into a Roth IRA. The extra money, you know, that what I would consider my income, I will save for the year and that will go into the Roth IRA for my long-term retirement savings. But we're not there yet. I need to, I, I need the dust to settle before I can start talking, shifting more money around. So there's that. Uh, Part-time job. I work, at, as you all know, a, a small part-time job. It's minimum wage. I mostly do it because I enjoy um, socialization and I need to get out of my house because I work from home, YouTube alone. So I kept my part-time job. This weekend, I worked Friday night. I'm working Saturday night. I'm working Sunday morning and maybe Sunday night. And then that's it for sports. For me, the sports will be done. That's all collegiate Ohio State University sporting events. So it's hockey. We're a tournament today. If they win, if the Buckeyes win tonight, because they won last night, if they win tonight, there is no game Sunday. If they lose tonight, then we go to a third game. That's so I won't know if I'm working tomorrow night. Definitely the last men's basketball game is tomorrow morning. Um, I did go to the dermatologist, as you can see. So I got that checked off my list. Next Tuesday, I will, oh, we're going into health. Next Tuesday, I will get my second shingles vaccine and that will be done. And then I believe April 4th, I scheduled my mammogram and then I am done with all of my vaccines, updated medical visits for my 50 year and yearly stuff. So, you know, during when you turn 50, some things change, shingles, colonoscopies, all of that stuff. So all of that will be done and my yearly mammogram will be done that was pushed off because of all of the vaccines for the COVID. It was a timing thing and I just was decided to wait to get my mammogram until all of the COVID stuff. So I did make my appointment for that. Oh, and I get my eye exam for this year on the 18th of March. So I will be getting new glasses because my vision definitely has changed because I can tell. Oh, and then the last but not least, my trip to Canada is on and I am so excited. I cannot wait. Um, I have my PCR COVID test scheduled. And then on uh, the 28th, I leave for Canada on the 31st. I'm driving, I will cross the border and I will have some video from the retreat for us. We're gonna do maybe a week of Canada videos. Um, definitely some retreat stuff. I'm going to go to a Dollarama. I am so excited. A Canadian Tire, I don't even know what that is, but it's. I've seen people in there and it sounds so exciting. Um, I'm gonna go to hopefully a Dollar Tree while in Canada. And then one more shop, it's called a little, a taste of Brit, a little bit of Britain. It's an import shop from the UK. 
in Miss Mississauga, 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 I think it's called. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm yeah, sorry. Um, because I want to get something from England for the Platinum Jubilee. Oh, I cannot wait. And while I'm there, I'm going to get some um, English chocolates to bring back for my niece and for my cousins because it's so good. And it is different. If you don't know, chocolate around the world is different than American chocolate. And it's different from each other. French chocolate is different from British. They all do theirs a little differently. And I love English chocolate. You know, it's not something I can have. I'm sorry, but I can bring it back. Like different Cadbury. As good as Cadbury is here, it is, to my opinion, better there. And I can bring it back. It's a, it's okay for me to buy. So I'm going to do some shopping while I'm over there. And I will absolutely do hauls, probably for my hotel room. That would be exciting, right? And show you all the things I bought and then show you around my hotel and maybe around the city. Now I'm staying in Brampton, which I believe where my hotel is, is near the airport. So that won't be overly exciting, but maybe depending on how I get into Canada, I can take some pictures of Niagara Falls for those of us. I haven't been there in years, so I'm super excited. And that'll be at the end of March. We'll be doing all that and I will bring you along. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little babbly update on what my life looked like in February. It's been busy, but fantastic. And I'm just loving the spring weather. It's going to be 70 today. And yeah, I'm excited. I'll know about my, I had a biopsy as well um, from the dermatologist. I'll know about that in two weeks. So when I do my March update, I will let you know. Or I may do a short and let you know what's happening with that. But I won't know anything for two weeks. All right, guys. Have a good one. I'll talk with you later. Bye.